are here with the man himself, Mr. Joe Claire. You know, I grew up watching you. Uh, you know what I mean? On uh, Rap City. Yes, you know, people have seen you from there. I grew up seeing you doing your comedy. You know what I mean? Tell the people what you got. What you got going on now, man? Well, I'm here to, at Digital Hollywood to to really hone in on what is the next generation of my business. You know, being in front of the camera is one thing, and I got and I recently got behind the camera doing production, TV shows, and that kind of thing. And I see that, you know, the future is digital. It's it's going that way. Um, it's it's going to be what it is. And if you don't know, then you're in the outs. So just like anything else in hip hop, we want to be down. We want to know what it is. And as you can see, it's very few brothers here. So I figured, you know, let me get a leg up where I can. Um, I have a couple of online projects that I'm trying, me and a partner of mine are trying to get off the ground. So we came today to, you know, investigate, network, shake hands, and see where technology meets what I'm trying to do. So. We see a lot of uh, social media taking right. off these days. You have your Twitters, your Facebooks, and really, to connect with your fans these days, these are some things that you really just have to be a part yes. of. Can the people catch you on MySpace, Facebook? Do you have you all those pages? I'm, I'm just like everybody else. You can go to MySpace backslash Joe Clear, Facebook Joe Clear. I'm getting the Twitter thing now. I got people following me, and I even even, all I did is sign up for Twitter. And people say, oh, I'm such and such is following you, and that kind of thing. Me, personally, I've always been um, hungry, get it myself. Like the, like you said, Rap City. I sought that job out. They didn't come after me. I sought that. I went and got that job. Talk a little bit more about it because people don't know, but they want to know. This is why they following Joe Claire on Twitter. They want to know well, how it all got started. Well, it, it got started like this. I was I was fresh out of college. I was a stand up comic, and you know me and hip hop go with hand in hand. I, I know anything, or I think I know anything and everything about hip hop. Somebody's gonna have to beat me. And um, that was the show that I watched every day. I came home every day just like you did and watched Rap City before I was the host. Um, and I called these people. I, what I did is I called 411, got the number to BET. This is a true story. Um, called, said, uh, Can I have uh, Rap City? They said, well, Who do you want? I said, uh, The director. Right? <laughs> There's no director, sir. There's a producer. I said, oh, yeah, him then, yeah, let me speak to the producer. And they said, well, you want the associate producer or the um, supervising producer? I thought associate was higher than supervisor. So the associate producer. So I start calling this guy's phone. And I call, and I don't get a, you know, I call his phone. Hey, my name is Joe Claire. I'm a comedian, blah, 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 blah. Please give me a call. Click. No call back. A couple of days later, he ain't called me back. Let me call him again. Hey, my name is Joe Claire. I'm a comedian. Blah, 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 blah. No call back. Let me call him again. Hey, my... This went on for about 10 months. 10, 11 months. Real talk. I had nothing to do. I had nothing to lose. I was a new comedian. So when you're a new comedian, all you're doing all day is drinking beers and watching TV. Uh, one day, a buddy of mine calls. He's a DJ. And I used to carry his crates into the club to get into the free. Get into the club free. He calls me the next day. He says, yo, man, I'm, I'm going to be on Rap City tomorrow. And I'm like, you got to be kidding but he didn't know that I had been calling these people. I said, well, you know, um, can I can I tag along, you know, just check it out and see what they do. He said, yeah, cool, but um, I don't know where we're shooting. At the time, uh, you know, I was fresh out of college. Me and my roommate had this beautiful spot in Capitol Hill in, in D.C. I said, well, why don't y'all shoot it here? You know, we ain't had no furniture. There was no, <laughs> up in the bedrooms, we had beds, stereo, refrigerator, and beer. So, but we got exposed brick walls and a fireplace and a spiral staircase and hardwood floors, but nothing in it. So I said, um, you know, see if y'all can shoot here. And um, the next day, Rap City came to my house. I could not believe it, man. Rap City came to my house. The guy walks in. I introduced myself. He said, you a comedian, right? I said, yes. Yeah. Man, I've been looking for you because I saw you open for Paul Mooney and I thought that you were hilarious. I just couldn't remember your name, but boom, 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 boom. The guy who I've been calling comes in about 10 minutes later. I introduce myself. He's like, yeah, you you called me the other day, right? I said, yeah, uh, that that would be me. He said, uh, hold on, you've been calling me for a while, haven't you? I said, yeah. He said, man, you know this the dude that's been calling, leaving the messages for the past year or whatever. 
The other guy goes, you know what's funny? This is the guy I've been telling you about that I couldn't remember who he was. After that, I became, I started hosting the show with Big Les. So, man, just hearing a story like that, that's kind of inspirational for the people out there. Yes, so, what does that tell you about persistence? Because I'm sure you've used that lesson man. in a lot of things that you've done throughout your career. If it was not for, if, if it wasn't for that, I probably would have been done. I probably would have used my college degree and gone back into social work or something by now. That, learning that lesson has kept me going forever. That's why I do what I do now. It's work, number one. Number two, it allows me to learn this other stuff, you know, that other side of the camera. You know, I watch, I watch like uh, some of my, one of my inspirations is Ron Howard, who we remember as a kid and then grew up. And, and you know, now he's a blockbuster movie maker. But what he was was persistent. And he, every situation he got into, he went and learned something. So when I shoot a commercial, I go and ask them, what's the difference between the camera that you're using and this camera right here? You know, so I can tell the difference. Right. You know, about a hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> but you know, I, I understand. I, I understand how uh, how this P2 technology works now. I understand how um, encoding works, frame rate, and compression, and, and and all of those types of things, so that I can know the front and the back of what's going on and sustain myself in doing something that I love doing. So, you know, that persistence that I learned many years ago has paid off very well man man persistence intelligence relevance and constantly working joe claire we appreciate it man, man. thank you so much shout out to black tree tv keep it moving for real for real you know what you are when your heart is slow